<laughs> if, did yeah. I get what? Yeah, you got a good side. Yeah. 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 PG-13. That's your Jamaican masseuse and the girl. <laughs> everyone and welcome back to another Sunday vlog You're like that's all I do now but we love Sunday <laughs> vlogs right we love Sunday vlogs daylight savings barbecue time oh yeah, yeah. I forgot we changed the clock back we went an hour ahead, ahead. it's now 2:28 in Cali I gotta fix that oh yeah you gotta just fix the car yeah, yeah. 3:28 in Cali and we are headed to your faves, Rick and Sharon. <laughs> <laughs> Where else are we going? <laughs> Where else are we going on a Sunday, right? Um, we're heading to Rick and Sharon. Um, Chris is gonna barbecue up some good stuff. And... Some steaks, some shrimp. Oh, I forgot to bring the chicken. I didn't uh -huh. bring the chicken. Let's see what else they have. Oops. Oops. I think we can run back and get it, or... Uh, you Maybe your mom might have. Yeah, she might have. Maybe your mom might have some chicken or something. Eat you some know steak, what I'm do feeling for is the that barbecue ribs that you did at the, oh, the, the baby uh, shower. Oh, short ribs. Can we the short, short ribs. ribs that yeah, yeah, pet yeah. pet that you love. <laughs> <laughs> I'm craving some of those. That um, good. I could pick those up too. But yeah, and I'm also gonna be doing something else with Sharon today. I'm gonna be filming. I tried this week. I mean, I tried yesterday to film. I did, guys. I did get a collaboration with. Um, uh, Temu, I don't know if you guys have ever heard of Temu. They reached out to me and they wanted to collab with me on a video. Where, what's this guy doing? Um, where they sent me some stuff and so I'll be doing a Temu haul pretty soon. That might be the next video after this one, or if not, I'll put that video out by the end of March for sure. So stay tuned for that video. I'll be showing you guys some cool stuff that I got, some clothing pieces for me and the boys. Um, I got some phone cases, I got some stuff for the house, and I got some beauty stuff. But yeah, I'll be sharing some of those with you guys, so stay tuned for that video. And by the way, you guys, from the last video, you guys knew that Chris went back to work last week. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I survived the week. It, was, it wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. Um, Kingston was, oh my god, Kingston was an angel. Alright, Kingy? We're still trying to wean him off of that patsy, but anyway, he'll come up when he's mature ready. <laughs> um, Kingston was an angel. Like, he was so good. He was so helpful. Reggae kind of had, not a struggle week, but kind of had a struggle week trying to struggle to poop. He was going, he's going through a little phase, but he got over it. Um, so yeah, my week was pretty much chill, trying to learn my routine, being home with the boys. Sharon and Rick came over on Thursday, Thursday. on Thursday. And we took Kingston and um, Reggae, we took them to the park and we got ice cream. I'll throw a clip in. I think I did record a little video, so I'll throw that in. So they were with us for a little bit on Thursday and then on Friday, we didn't go to the street fair this Friday. We stayed home and chill. Chris brought home food from this, it's a Caribbean restaurant. It's in San Gabriel. Yeah, I always read the name of it. Uh... Um, I think it's like a Guyanese family. It's, it's Guyanese, but they do like, Man, they do the, the best oxtail I've ever had in my entire life. Like it tastes like my grandma cooked it. And the gungu, gungu rice and peas tastes so good. So that's what we had yesterday. We didn't do the street fair. Um, and then Chris, you got- I got the yeah. chicken curry and roti. It was delicious. Yeah. Really, really good. Yeah, their food's amazing. I'll, uh, next time I go there, I'll film it. I'll get the name. Yeah. Cause it's really good. Nice, nice people too. I know. Okay. Don't tell Obi. I know. Or, or, um, or other favorite place. What our number one favorite Vermont, Jamaican our restaurant original. is Country Style Jamaican Restaurant in Inglewood, of course. That's the best. Number one. Big up, big up, big up, Obi. <laughs> so we just got to Rick and Sharon. So yeah. Keep watching. <laughs> <laughs> Grandpa. Go see Grandpa. Go see Grandpa. Where's Grandpa? Call him. Call Grandpa.
There he is. There he is. Hey, buddy. <laughs> there he is. Now say hi, Grandpa. I heard you're playing soccer, Grandpa. He's taking huh? me someplace. Back down. <laughs> Look at Grandma's lipstick on you. <laughs> I'm coming. Grandma Show them Grandma's on. lipstick all over him and Reggae. <laughs> Always has lipstick marks on their cheeks. You put lipstick. Kick it, not throw it in. Kick Look how pretty. Remember we planted these last year? Look how pretty these are now. They're ready for spring. And look at the jasmine that I planted. Oh, it smells so good. They're starting to bloom. Kingy, look. Mommy planted these last year and they're starting to bloom. Sharon, they smell so pretty. Oh, I love this smell. Oh. I'm so excited. The yard, everything grew for So much. pretty. You can surprise me. All right. Where are we going? Where are we going? We can sit here. Okay, let's sit here. I think there's no shade here. He has this new thing where he you takes your hand put and pulls you. On. He puts us all to sit oh. down and then he entertains us. Look at Reggie. Oh, Grandma. Looks like Grandma. Oh, chubby cheeky. Hi, you got Grandma. That shirt he has on, uh -huh. that was his two months photos, you remember? I was oh, going to put it on him, the whole set, I was going to put that on, and I couldn't button it. <laughs> so I just left it, because I didn't want to take it off. He was, he was half asleep. That's a corner, Grandma. Whoa, <laughs> I think that ball goes. went out. <laughs> Another corner. <laughs> oh, Grandma missed. <laughs> kaboom, Kingy, kaboom. Hey, boy, Kingy. <laughs> Grandpa working on his swing. <laughs> we got steaks. I don't know. That's a good question. What's that, babe? I think I see a guava tree at the neighbor over there. Can you zoom in and see it? La damasi. Can the pole reach? <laughs> How long's the pole? Mm -hmm. We spot a guava. We spot a guava tree. Jamaican gal spotting fruits. I don't, I don't think 
my stick can reach. <laughs> but I'm going to find try. out. <laughs> Poor Vinny. <laughs> I don't know how she does this, Sharon. Go. <laughs> <laughs> Chris is telling the story of you really know how my, is... my true, I guess, indoctrination of vinyl. Did I was, you get my I was... size? <laughs> if, did yeah. I get what? <laughs> yeah, you got a good size. Yeah. PG 13. Ask your Jamaican masseuse and the girl. <laughs> she got it real good. <laughs> <laughs> so my parents had a turntable and they were phenomenal disco dancers. So they had they These still could be a routine. Yep. Every wedding, you guys are like famous for like every wedding you guys go to, you guys still know your routine. Yep. So when I was like four or five years old, you guys would practice your disco routines. Oh, uh, there they go. Oh, yeah, you do it right now. Uh, uh, you do it. <laughs> they still know. I love it. <laughs> Come on, old man. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my wow. God. Oh, we love that. Wow. You still got it, Dad. You still got it. You still got it, Rick. I don't know what saying. <laughs> Okay. No, you were saying, saying, saying that Kingston reminds me of myself because when Kingston we play music, Kingston uh -huh. gets hyper and he starts yeah. running all over, you know, our place. Yeah. And when I was a little kid, when my parents would do their disco routine and they had a turntable in the front living room, and they would do their disco routine and I would get hyped up. I was like five years old and it was like Donna Summer or I don't know, what do you guys BG? What are you guys listening to? I would get super <coughs> hyper. They would start practicing their dance routine with the vinyl record playing some disco routine. Because then they would go out with their friends. You guys would go disco dancing. And I would go like to Grandma uh -huh. Grandpa's or Grandma Cosby yeah. babysitting. But I would just run up and down the stairs. I'd, go, I'd shoot up the stairs. I'd run down. I'd run through the hallway. Like Kingston runs at our place. Like when yeah, I see true. Kingston running hyper, I think of myself. I'm like, I used to do that as a little kid. When you guys That's would so do your true. disco and dance, I would just get like hyped up and go boom, boom. And you guys were like spinning, doing your own stuff. And I was just like mm -hmm. running, like maybe yeah. throwing up my speed. I was doing like stairs at That's four so years funny. old. That's so funny, reliving through Kingston yeah. now. Yeah, mm -hmm. so when I see Kingy do it, uh, it reminds that, me of That's how you became a good dancer. And yeah. fast. Oh, my sky, Rizzy. <laughs> oh, <baby. laughs>